also experience ups and downs in your business or what we call ebbs and flows, right? <laughs> or at least we have in our team, I've experienced that. But this year, I had to start really focusing on what I guess I realized was gaps in my business. Or as Christina mentioned the other day, the leaky roof, right? And I started to realize there were some leaks in the roof in our business because things started to change and shift. And this year, as I started implementing those changes and recognizing that, it helped me to move forward more. And so I'm just gonna share a little bit about that. But first, I wanna talk about how I have been a part of many other companies. Nothing compares to the culture that we have here. Nothing compares to Plexus culture. And there's nothing like what we have. We have the best company at filling us with the right mindset, the right belief, and all that we need to succeed. So this is what I'm so thrilled about here. It has been so important in helping us out to build the belief in working on our mindset and keeping us growing and personal development is, got, is a huge key, right, in that. We have to continually to keep growing. Personal development, and one of the things I wanna mention and throw out here, I'm so blessed to have the most incredible upline, Michelle and Deirdre, thank you so much. I'm constantly learning from them and constantly gaining what I need to keep me focused and on point. Constantly growing and learning more from them. Thank you so much. And I'm also listening to podcasts for growth. This is so important. One of them I have to call out, Brittany Howard's Lead Her Shift podcast. And there's the events. If you utilize Gold School, Ruby's on the Rise, Convention, Leadership Excellence, I mean leadership, yes, I said that right. <laughs> okay, you will have all the tools to achieve your goals when you're attending these amazing events that Plexus provides for us, right? So now I'm gonna be honest with y'all. When I came into this business, I, you know, I was kind of like all in, go get her, like she was talking about. I shot right to the top, it felt like anyway. Um, I, I had silver stars I had earned. I was really focusing on developing and enrolling new people constantly. And I'm a natural recruiter. I love to talk to people, especially about what I believe in. Everyone, I got on the call. I got them on the phone and I told them how to build this business. Then at the end of last year, I had to slow down, not my nature. I had to slow down, I had to analyze what was happening in our business. And I had realized that my silver development rate had dramatically dropped, okay? And, and of course gold and all that too. Um, so I had to realize, man, what is going on? And realizing again, the leaks in the roof. I was not getting on calls as much. I was not talking about the business. I was not getting uncomfortable. I was in management mode. That's when I realized another thing too. I was also struggling with retention. <laughs> I was so scared y'all to look at my back office and see if someone had turned off their subscription. I was literally terrified about that. Finally, I had to overcome that fear and just, I had to be uncomfortable again. I had to get on the phone again. Just the other day, somebody had turned their sub off because I went and looked and got on the phone with him. We were able to talk about his goals and things that he started for, and not only did he turn his stuff back on, but on top of that, he added more things to it. So it was just like, okay, this is why we're doing this, to really help change lives. So anyway, he told me he's overstocked in products and all this stuff, and all of that has changed now. So this year, also, our team focused on rank-specific coaching calls. On these calls, we would focus on what is needed to build to the next level, and encouraging personal development, like we were talking about, and supporting their growth. At the same time, what we're doing is helping them understand we're there with you. So I'm telling them, look, this is what I'm doing. You can do the same. I'm also growing. No matter if you reach emerald, sapphire, diamond, we constantly have more to grow in and learn. That makes me a better leader, and it helps me to build the culture that makes our team want to stay invested in this business, and I have to mention the culture. This is a focus of mine, really, because culture is everything, right? We talked about this starting out, talking about the Plexus culture, right? It's better than anywhere else it really is, but it starts with us, right? I have to be able to keep building on that culture, and that is something I feel like has been a blessing in our team, is to be able to continue to build so that we can withstand any obstacle. 
Our team does life together. We have real relationships. We build together, but we also have ministry together and church life together. Our families get together. We have a bond that goes beyond Plexus, and it just makes our Plexus business that much stronger because we genuinely care about each other. We build a community by making sure we do a lot of activities. We're on Zooms, local sip and sees, momentum meetups. We're doing coffee dates, Christmas parties, Super Saturdays. <laughs> and it's a priority to create these events that will bring us together and foster these relationships so that even in hard times, crazy times, right, sometimes, it is going to help us to keep moving forward and be there for each other. It is a priority to create the events because of that. We want to keep building each other up and keep encouraging one another. And so let me just say this. You're sitting here today. Because you have found belief, either from your upline or your community or personal development, whether it was from whatever those things, you found it and you didn't give up. You fell forward. And the thing is, is that failures don't keep us. We don't need to think of a failure like, I think this was mentioned, but like John C. Maxwell talked about, right? We use it as a tool to help us to continue to learn and grow and move forward. That is what I've been doing. I have been learning so much. I'm continually learning, and I'm sure I always will be. And that is the thing, is that our points don't determine where we're going. Someone turning their sub off or leaving does not determine where I'm going. I'm putting my trust personally in God, trusting Him, putting my business in His hands. And personally, that has made a huge difference for me. I'm working like it depends on me. But I am praying like it depends on him. I just want to lastly leave you with encouraging you to, I'm encouraging you to seek help from your upline. Okay? Ask them to help you slow down and analyze your business. That's what helped me. Slow down and analyze. And um, anyway, thank you so much for having me. God bless you all. I'm so happy to be here. And I get the honor and privilege to introduce to y'all our chief field development officer.